Hi guys, and welcome to another video of the Harry Potter spells series. In this video we are going to talk about two more spells. The anti-cheating spell and the anti-disapparition jinx. Before I start the video, please hit the subscribe button so that you will be notified when a new video comes out. Let's get started. The anti-cheating spell is a charm with an unknown incantation that prevents a person from cheating on a test or exam. This spell was used at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry on writing quills and parchment to prevent students from cheating during their final exams, as well as their owls and newts. We can see this spell being mentioned in a deleted scene in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Copy off you? No, you won't. Besides, according to Professor McGonagall, we're to be given special quills, the witch with an anti-cheating spell. And now, the anti-disapparition jinx. The anti-disapparition jinx is a jinx, with also an unknown incantation, which is used to prevent disapparition in an area for a specific amount of time. Presumably, it can be used to aid in trapping a victim within an area. It can also be used to protect an area or to trap prey. It was cast long ago, on the Hogwarts castle and its grounds, presumably by the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry's headmaster of the time, to prevent students from disapparating out of the castle. The jinx is lifted temporarily within the Great Hall when sixth-year students are taking apparition lessons. The headmaster is implied by Albus Dumbledore to be the only person who can disapparate from Hogwarts at will. Take my own. So I thought you couldn't apparate within Hogwarts. Well, being me has its privileges. <laughs> This is also likely to be the spell that was placed on Hogsmeade in 1998, which prevented Harry Potter and his friends from disapparating. Finally, the Crystal Cave was enchanted with this jinx, as it was impossible for anyone other than a house elf to disapparate out of it, just as it was impossible to apparate in. Thank you for watching. Please tell me in the comments what is your favorite spell from the wizarding world, and if you feel kind today, hit that like button.